truly life on earth could not exist without light from the sun but solar radiation contains harmful ultraviolet rays fortunately some 30 to 40 kilometers up in the atmosphere an ozone layer effectively stops most of these ultraviolet rays from reaching us solar radiation goes through complex processes which ultimately enable a livable environment around the earth though a limited amount of ultraviolet rays from the sun are desirable prolonged exposure is harmful to man and all life forms but ultraviolet rays reaching the earth are reduced through a series of reactions in the atmosphere oxygen is transformed into ozone and vice versa thus a rich ozone layer absorbing ultraviolet rays is formed but man made chemicals called chlorofluorocarbons disturb the delicate ozone oxygen balance the cfc's react with ultraviolet rays and release chlorine the chlorine reacts with ozone and destroys it in a chain reaction ultimately there is less ozone to absorb ultraviolet rays these ozone depleting cfc's came to be known as miracle substances because they are stable and non poisonous they were first used as working fluids in refrigerators then later in aerosol products like sprays for foam products and as solvents in paints and pesticides cfc production is cheap and its storage easy naturally they remained popular until the connection between cfc's and the destruction of the ozone layer became apparent some industries have begun using replacements like lpg instead of cfc's in aerosols it has become fashionable to label products as ozone friendly little is known about the impact of cfc replacements on the atmosphere mankind is looking for ways to protect the ozone layer so that excessive radiation does not impair life on earth ozone depletion and the concurrent need to eliminate use of cfcs is the first environmental issue to catch global attention countries worldwide have signed the montreal protocol treaty which ensures phasing out of cfcs by the turn of the 20th century developing countries like india use limited amounts of cfcs and insist on international financial support to achieve the necessary changes towards ozone friendly technology the focus of the story of sunlight and ozone has been split up between science vested industrial interests and intergovernmental politics it remains to be seen if mankind can overshadow them all <laughs>